Welcome to this tutorial on using the basic IC10 compiler for stationeers. In this video, we'll walk you through the basics of the compiler, providing a step-by-step -step guide on how to start programming in the basic language for IC chips in the game stationeers. Whether you're a newcomer looking to dive into programming or an experienced player seeking a more efficient way to code, this tutorial will get you started on the path to creating powerful and automated systems within the game. First things first, let's get the basic IC10 compiler onto your system. Head over to the GitHub repository linked in the description below. There you'll find the latest release of the compiler. Simply click on the basic IC10 compiler.zip file, then click on the download button. Now navigate to the extracted folder and you'll find the executable file, basic IC10 compiler, stationeers.exe. Double click to launch the application. No need for installations or complex setups. It's a standalone tool ready to streamline your basic programming experience in Stationeers. Let's open it up and explore the user interface together. You'll notice three panels. The top left panel is where you write your basic code. The right panel displays the corresponding IC10 MIPS code, and the bottom left panel shows any error or warning messages. Let's start with a simple example of code. We'll start by declaring some aliases. Use the alias command to declare a device. For this example, let's say we have an occupancy sensor and one light. Here's how you could declare them. Alias sensor equals IC dot pin zero to use the pin zero. Alias light equals IC dot pin one to use the pin one. Now that the aliases have been declared, let's write a line of code. Suppose you want to turn on the light while the sensor detects someone in the room. Light one dot on equals sensor dot activate greater than zero. In this line, we're saying that the on variable of our light should be set to one if the activate variable of the sensor is greater than zero. Essentially, it's a simple way to control one light based on the activation status of a sensor. Any variable found in the stationpedia can be used. Now, if we want to change the code to control many lights instead of one light, it is possible to do so without changing any line of code but only the alias declaration. We can change the pin keyword to device and set IC dot device structure light round. This can be useful if you want to easily change the devices controlled by script without having to rewrite your code completely. Let's take it a step further. Imagine you want to control a wall heater based on the temperature of a sensor. Here's how you can declare a variable to store the temperature and then use it to control the heater. var current temperature equals sensor dot temperature. And we can define a constant that will represent our goal temperature. Const goal temperature equals 20 C. Note that using C for Celsius will automatically convert the value into Kelvin, so the value returned by the sensor can be directly compared heater dot on equals current temperature less than goal temperature. And that's it. When a variable is declared, it can be used multiple times in the code, and we can use its value to do some complex calculations like writing normal algebra. There are more examples in the online programming guide, which also shows how to use loops, branching, if-then-else structures, custom functions, etc. Also, feel free to join our Discord if you need help to start using the compiler. I hope this will be helpful. Thanks for watching.